Hello, welcome to part 7 again and here's an update about the fuselage and here I will make a little bit progress again I sanded the, the back end the complete thing and this part is already taped in I already drew an outline what has to be cut out later on and a little bit of reference of the cockpit so this thing is going really good and also here I glued on the wooden spar leading edge, trailing edge so it becomes a little bit like the stabilizer except for the reinforcement so that's the thing on the on the fuselage you see this isn't finished yet because I still need to cut out uh, the rudder and make uh, hinges in it so that will be done later. So at the moment, I already sanded out the wing. So now it's completely smooth and it's ready to have its final uh, sanding uh, round with a very fine sanding paper. So I also made the tip. So this will be taped on later just uh, only with uh, with tape no extra reinforcement so then I can decide to fly with or without uh, winglets because these winglets make the, the plane so stable it's uh, hard to, to fly any acro uh, with it so the wing is almost finished but you see it's very flexible and not very stiff so the, the leading edge won't prevent it from, from breaking when I lift it so you need to have some reinforcement so therefore I use this wooden spar I already glued it so I got, cut, uh, cut it in half and as you can see there's a little bit v-shape in it and it's also shown on the drawing if you look at this line it has a very uh, shallow v-shape but in fact the, these types uh, of planes are flying not so stable and especially in thermals they become a little bit uh, wobbly and easily to get flip over so I always make the v-shape a little bit more and then here the other wing part will be sticked in so this will be glued on you see I already grinded it to have a, a better attachment for the glue so this is the glue I use polyurethane and it will be a glued under a, a shallow angle and as you can see when it's uh, glued it will look like if the wing uh, bent naturally so then you also have the wing bending and here you can see it's just stiff but uh, when you see it flying the wing will uh, looks like it's uh, it's bending naturally so it looks much more uh, much better and uh, so this big wing will be cut in half somewhere around here later and then we got two separate wings that one will be connected and glued with the other half and that part will be sticked in so that's uh, thing what we're gonna do tonight glue on the things and here you can see also this wooden uh, piece I think it's about four centimeters so I guess so and this one is uh, about three so it's uh, smaller the diameter is also uh, a little bit more smaller so this one is uh, 15 this one is 12 and here I bought uh, in the in a special shop a piece of aluminium so this one can be sticked in later on so then it's easy to connect and disconnect the plane it's only a matter of sticking it in and getting it out again and this will be strong enough for the weight uh, of the plane so 
that's the plan and uh, I will keep you updated. Bye bye.